Chinese art, Chinese civilization culture is like a big river with lots of tributaries coming off it. So you can actually swim around in it and never stop learning. I was in Spinks and I was working in the English ceramics and glass department. They closed it, so they moved me into the Chinese department. I found it a very deep subject. It's the longest enduring civilization in the world. Jade is equivalent to gold in the West as it is in China. If you look at my book, jade has always been universally appreciated and collected by a variety of collectors internationally around the world. There is a so-called marriage bowl with a ring handle, and it's just a very, very good example of its type. The proportions are right, the colour's right, it succeeds as an 18th century jade bowl should. I'm particularly proud of one blue and white pot. It makes me think of the late Sam Jennings comment, violets in milk, when he described the late 17th century cobalt blue on the, on the beautiful glaze. I think it's one of the finest pieces of blue and white I've handled for some time. And it's just perfect in every way from my point of view. We collected and bought Clazoni all through the years when it went in and out of fashion. We stayed with the stock we liked, understood, and kept buying and selling it. I particularly like a Jardo we have, which is 16th century, mid-Ming, a lotus on a turquoise ground, and enhanced by two particularly fine gilt bronze dragon handles that are Ming, the same period as the Jardo. That piece succeeds in every way as far as a Ming piece of clothes on is concerned. This particular dish is interesting, it has a ruby back. So the ruby back really connects you to the eggshell porcelains of the Yongcheng period. So it's a particularly nice and unusual piece. There's always something to study. There are always surprises. 